the BS that my mind tells me, I fight with it every single day and it's never gonna go away. I'm never gonna not love donuts and cheeseburgers and french fries. I'm never gonna not love that anymore. I'm always going to. So it's always gonna be a fight and how you respond when the fight gets real determines everything. What's up y'all, Bricks from Bricks Fitness. It's Monday morning, and Monday mornings excite me. On my agenda for today is something, uh, it's a big item that I, I've been putting off. But before I get into it, what slavery looks like has changed. Back in the day, it was us black people in balls and chains, and you know, picking cotton, that whole deal. And now, slavery is not just confined to African Americans anymore, or black people anymore. Slavery now is debt, and it's systematically been set up for Americans to be in debt. Well, look at the country. The country is trillions of dollars in debt. Like, when you owe someone, they own you. And I got caught up in that trap, and now I'm in a place where I'm ad addressing this issue. Like, I'm trying to fix my credit now, because just like a lot of people, I got caught up in college getting the credit cards, and the standard third, not making responsible decisions financially. And I got put in a situation that now I gotta dig myself out of, especially if I wanna make this $2 million by next year. I gotta bite the bullet. I've been putting it off. I've been procrastinating about it. I have to handle this. I've started the steps. This is a big part of, of being a man and being successful and being responsible. So, I'm gonna take you guys on this journey with me as well. Thank you for calling Equifax. So I just got off the phone with Equifax. I, I had to update my address. But it's, it's a, a lot of us, including myself, I, I was never taught how to manage my credit properly. I was never taught how to manage my money properly. And so now, I'm going to make it a part of my mission as I dig out of the, my financial situation to share the knowledge of how to just manage your money properly because it's so important, especially for us, um, you know, men with families, you know, with, with kids and a lot of responsibilities, like finding ourselves in these financial crises sets us back. So we gotta do better. I'm going to do an official physique update right now so you guys can see what my progress is like. This is what I'm looking like right now. Now this has been the most stress-free cut I've ever done in my entire life. I'm not counting calories, I'm not counting macros, and it's the only reason why I'm not counting is because I've counted for so long that I no longer have to do it anymore. I'm not weighing myself, I'm not doing any of that stressful numbers crap. Like I don't care nothing about numbers. I'm kind of feeling it out, I'm, you know, I have no real program that I'm following. I'm just being consistent. I'm making sure that I'm mixing up high intensity interval training, steady state cardio, and I'm lifting heavy. And that's all I'm doing. Intermittent fasting has been the key though. I'm not even gonna lie. Intermittent fasting, without intermittent fasting, none of this is possible, to be honest. I mean, it's possible. But it makes it a lot less stressful. And I'm going to be dropping that 12-week body transformation jumpstart program really, really soon. I'm finishing it up now. I've been working on it all summer. Also, there's a link in the description right now for meal plans. I do custom meal plans, just in case you didn't know that. This is my current physique. So if you guys watch the channel for a little while, you know that I am a fan of replacement greens. This is by a company called Macro Life Naturals. Um, I hit them up because 
I was looking, the first place I wanted to start when it came to me, like starting to, starting to collaborate with brands was to hit up brands that I actually use their products. And I actually use their products. So they sent me a box. I'm going to be giving a gift basket, a Macro Life Naturals gift basket to everyone who purchases the Life Changer package of my online coaching. So I'm going to open this box right now. So this is macro meal. Can you see that? Which is the ultimate superfood. Protein plus superfruits and vegetables. Wow. And this one's vegan. Mm. This is the green supplements that I normally use. It's these two. And we got big ones. The smaller ones are normally like what? 20. 20 something bucks? For both. We got 20. Oh, for this. This is a 60 day. That's what we got. That's what we normally get, six servings, but he sent us the 60 serving joint. Dang. We I think lit. this was 14. We lit. <laughs> and so, look, the reason why I use this product is because I know I don't eat enough fruits and vegetables. I don't. And micronutrients are very, very, very important. We all know about macros. We all scream macro, 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 but micronutrients are the real important uh, details of our nutrition that we need to pay more attention to. I prefer you to eat your recommended servings of vegetables and fruits, but if you are like me and you just, just don't do it, this is a good insurance policy, these Macro Life Natural products. So these are all the samples. So yeah, so I got a oh, ton cool. of samples. And then come with a little recipe. Uh oh, macro greens for kids. This is cool. Alyssa and RJ. There we lit. Look, show the box. So look, they sent a ton of samples. In the gift baskets for the life changer package, you're gonna you're gonna get one of all of these. Oh, this is good. This is oh. good. Let me email them. I know how you feel, man, as far as, like for me, it, it did take me letting it get almost out of control before I decided to take some action. And for most people, for most people, it's like that, you know, so don't feel bad about it. Um, but you, you taking these steps is, is, a, is a great sign that, that you're ready. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of the time we contemplate, oh, I, you know, we know what we have to do. And some and sometimes it just takes a really long time before we actually take action. I know I have, you know, what it takes to do it. You know, I just I didn't need that, that little extra push to, you know, to help me out and, and, and kind of guide me in the way to help coach me there. You know? I got you. I got you. And, and and though it may seem like such a big mountain to climb right now, what you said is very important. You know you have what it takes, man. And that's that's more than half the battle right there. It's just having that confidence, having that faith in yourself that no matter how daunting the task may seem, that you have it in you to get it done. That's like half the work right there. We're already ahead. We're already a few steps ahead of the game just by you believing that. And 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 continue to tell yourself that. You know, and that and that's the aspect of weight loss that a lot of people we don't, you know, you don't hear about it on the internet so much. Um just having that faith because your mindset is everything. The way you approach it mentally right now at this at this stage is going to determine how successful you are. You know what I'm saying? Not no diet, no workout plan. None of that's going to help you as much as you having the confidence and you having the faith that yes, it's a lot of weight that you need to lose, but you can get it done and you will. What's up? What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's up, buddy? Taylor Gang. How are you? What's up, bro? What's up? All right, so I'm going to be training chest today, chest and, chest and tries. Um, I've been cutting. I don't even know what I weigh right now because I haven't been weighing myself, but I want to make sure I'm not losing strength. So I'm going to be doing like sets of three, trying to push as heavy as I can safely because my left shoulder has been a little tweaky lately. So. I'll see how much I can go. And when you're doing it, push.
push-ups, experiment with the hand positions. I know for me, when I turn my wrist a little inward, I feel my chest activating some more. But that's something that's gonna be different for every individual. Just fall in my lap Feeling like Chance the Rapper Just need me a sack Funeral light processions The suits is all black It's what I do's to the death You know it's a fact You need to verse I needs me a stat I'm out your iPhone Sounding like my shit's on wax Relevant in every quarter Thoughts turn to dollars Like wine out of water Dumbbells, the incline dumbbells give me more flexibility to adjust the lift in a way where it doesn't affect my shoulder impingement. So if I was doing uh, incline press with the barbell, I'm kind of in, in a fixed position. But with the dumbbell, like I said, I have, I, I can twist my arm a little bit. I can bring it in a little bit more just to avoid the, the discomfort because I'm working around an injury right now. Keeping my range of motion short, since when I extend all the way, when I, when I do a full range of motion, I feel the injury. So what I did was I felt the motion. So I only went as far as I could without any discomfort. Once I felt discomfort, I didn't go that far. So what I did was I did a short motion and I squeeze, I squeeze my chest, I squeeze whatever muscle you're working. Squeeze it and just use the range of motion that you can without it hurting your injury. Yeah, this joint like my mama cooking, which reminds me, you only get out what you put in. I did a lot when they wasn't looking, and that was holler at this email for my booking. I showed them how to cast the rod there for fish hooking. If they choose to starve, then it's they issue. Keep my eye out for raised pistols, relevant in every quarter. Thoughts turn to dollars like wine out of water. One of my least favorite muscles to train is calves. My calves suck. I've accepted that. But I'm making a conscious decision to get better and more consistent at training these little stupid ass calves. Yeah. So as you can tell from the title of this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about one of the most important factors that will determine how successful you are at weight loss. Now I've coached 500 people. I've been in the I haven't been in the industry that long, but I've one, I've done one-on-one -on -one coaching. I've done one-on-one -on -one personal training for years. I've dealt with many people, and the number one thing that I've noticed that determines how successful a person is, is how they respond when it's real. How they respond to adversity. How they respond when the initial excitement wears off. That defines how successful you are with weight loss. It actually defines how successful you are with anything. When those hurdles start popping up and the resistance starts and that initial excitement is gone that's when you are defined in this journey because it takes a lot you literally have to muster so much energy so much discipline so much resiliency inside of you to stay consistent 
to stay at it, to pick back up when you fall down with this, when you when you find yourself binging, or when you found yourself not going to the gym for 10 days straight. In that moment where you realize that you fell off, how you handle that moment will determine your success with weight loss, especially if you have any significant weight to lose. Like it's an uphill battle the whole entire time. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's still a battle for you for me. And I'm I'm four years into this. And I still battle with, with food addiction. I still battle with my mind telling me, you know, I don't want to work out, or my mind telling me, you 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 can take a break. The BS that my mind tells me, I fight with it every single day, and it's never going to go away. I'm never going to not love donuts and cheeseburgers and french fries. I'm never going to not love that anymore. I'm always going to. So it's always going to be a fight, and how you respond when the fight gets real determines everything.